Welcome to Fit Mama Health Talk with Angela Campbell, where I love to share real life lessons to help encourage you and to also teach you to honor and take care of your entire body, your mind, and also your spirit so that you as a busy woman, busy mom can show up the healthier and happier version of you for all of those you love, as well as keeping up with chasing your dream. Welcome to your new lifestyle. In today's episode, I want to talk to you today about what is really holding you back. And are you really even aware of what that is? And what do I mean by that is oftentimes we're being held back from doing anything for ourselves. We're being held back from chasing our dreams. We're being held back from just saying something that we want to say, but we're we're in this fear of, oh my gosh, if I say this, somebody's going to judge me or somebody's going to think I'm stupid. Somebody's going to think I'm crazy or, um, or even in your health transformation, maybe you don't want people, you know, you're not sharing that you're even trying to work on yourself and trying to lose weight out of fear of judgment, um, and all the things. Number one, I want to bring awareness to you today for what is holding you back. Um, and the first step to anything and any mindset shift and anything that you want to do in life is being aware first. So my first question to you is think about this for a second. And I've, I've been asked these same questions as I go through co- coaching, constantly growing myself internally so I can continue to show up better for everyone else like you listening to this episode. But one of the first things is on a scale of one to ten. Where, how aware are you at what is holding you back? Meaning, number one, if you rate yourself a one, like I have no clue, Angela, like n- no idea. No idea what's holding me back. I have zero awareness of my fears, my doubts, uh, or maybe even outside sources that might be holding you back. And a 10 is, Angela, I know what's holding me back. I'm just not overcoming it on my own for some reason. Um, the first step is awareness. And if you can rate yourself close to a 10, that's a good thing. And you have to see that as a win because you cannot make those shifts that you want to make and actually get started and get out of your own way and stop fearing the judgment of other people until you first realize that's the thing that's holding you back. So maybe it's fear of judgment. You don't want to tell anybody in your life or your spouse or your family that I'm trying yet another program to try to lose weight because you fear they're going to judge you because you failed or quit or didn't follow through with anything else you did. So you're fearing they're going to judge you again. They're going to doubt you again. And so you don't even tell them. But here's the big problem and the big realization with that that I want to bring awareness to you today is more than you fear them judging you, you fear on the inside that you're just going to fail again. And if that is you, you're not alone. And you have to understand and remind yourself of this daily. Because we often go through feeling like we're alone. We're the only one struggling with doubt. We're the only one not believing that we can follow through this program. It's the 15th program I've signed up for and spent money on, but I'm not. But I fear that I can't even follow through with this one. What makes this one different? What makes this one different or whatever it is you're trying to do right now is make the mental shifts that are needed to go along with you trying to lose weight or tone up or just simply get your health in check. Be aware of what's holding you back. And I will tell you right now, the more women I help every single day, the more I even grow internally working with my mentors one-on-one, I will tell you the thing, the person that is usually holding you back from you jumping off that cliff and taking the leap to actually take some time for yourself is you. It's usually you. It's not someone else. It's not someone else's judgment because they more than likely don't even aren't paying any kind of attention because they've got their own things to worry about. The bigger thing that is often holding more 
women back from taking time for themselves, more women back from chasing their dreams or anything that you have on your heart right now, whatever that first thing is that comes to your mind, maybe it is your weight loss journey. Maybe it is your um, journey to get healthy. Maybe it is your journey to actually chase a business desire and goal that you want to chase, but you keep holding yourself back because you internally don't believe you can do it. Therefore you are holding yourself back. And so if you get anything from this episode today, I want you to come out of it being aware of what the heck is holding you back. Is it you just simply not believing in yourself or is it you constantly talking yourself out of it every single day? Every single day I have conversations with new women all the time, wanting to get healthy, wanting to lose weight, tired and sick and tired of where they are right now, sick and tired of feeling tired and lost and knowing where to start. It first starts in your own mind and in your own head and where in the world do I need to start? Where in the world or what in the world is holding me back? And that often that person and thing is you. It's not other people. Most people, by the time they sit there and think about it, like what's holding me back? There's nobody, not my spouse, not my boss, not my kids telling me, no, don't go work out. No, don't meal prep. No, don't take time for yourself. No, don't. Um, you know, spend time on your mental, mental health with, um, a little bit of meditation or a little bit of prayer or a little bit of quiet time or a little bit of, of just me time. There's more than likely nobody in your life that is telling you not to do it except for yourself. So when you realize first what's holding you back and realize that very likely is yourself, putting thoughts in your mind that you can't do it or thoughts in your mind like, oh my gosh, I have 20 other things I got to do. I got to do the laundry. I got to do the dishes. I got to do all these other things. I don't have time to work out. You do. The more you stop saying I don't have time or I can't do it, the more you will find the belief and the more you will find the time to do it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you can find anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes in your day somewhere to spend on you. You just have to prioritize yourself and get rid of the things. Maybe it's the TV. Maybe it's scrolling on social media. Are you spending 30 minutes on social media a day scrolling for no specific reason? There's 30 minutes right there that you can get off social media and take time for yourself. Go for a walk in nature. Go listen to some personal development and do a little workout. Get into our Facebook community if you're not. This week we are doing a high five and squat challenge and it is so awesome to watch because all the women in there are taking less than 60 seconds to high five themselves in the morning and doing at least 20 squats a day. And it's proving to themselves and they're building their confidence along the way that, hey, I may not have a full hour to go work out, but I at least got have five minutes that I can do 20 squats and I can give myself a high five. Start there and then you build from there. So get into our Facebook, Facebook community if you're not yet, which you can... Um, you can go to my website, acfitmama.com. There's a link on the homepage to the Facebook group. Join us if you're not. It's open to all women of all walks of life needing a place for support. We talk about your faith. We talk about your fitness. We talk about your nutrition. We talk about your health. We talk about encouragement. We talk about all the things, and there's so much more coming your way. So again, if you get anything from this episode today, first, just what is holding you back? Become aware, become aware first and then start to shift it. If you realize it's you constantly saying, I can't do this. I don't have time for that. The first step you need to do is shift your mindset. Every time you hear yourself saying, I don't have time. I can't do this. I can't do that. Then I want you to be aware. Tally mark it. Put a rubber band on your wrist and every time you hear yourself say it pop pop your wrist and you'll slowly start to come out of that habit and the more you say I can do this I can do that I do have time I will make time then you will actually make time because the busiest people in the world running multi multi million dollar companies that are way busier than you and me are making it happen and it's because they prioritize And they get rid of distractions in their own mind most of the time that's holding them back. And so if I can do it, if they can do it, I guarantee you you can do it. Because you're one strong, amazing, 
woman. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Fit Mama Health Talk with me, Angela Campbell. I feel extremely blessed every day and grateful for your support as I can't tell you how much it truly drives me every day to continue bringing more value to you with health and fitness and mindset and also faith, inspiration, so you too can change your health as well as your family's health and life. I appreciate always listening. I also appreciate the shares. If you don't already follow me, you can also find me on Instagram at the underscore fit underscore mompreneur, or you can also search our free Facebook group, The Fit Mompreneur on Facebook. Join our group full of all women, all walks of life. Share this episode and also tag me if you do, so we together can help inspire and impact more women together as a whole.